Okay, this is my water pump seal replacement job. And I'm a little bit puzzled because on the cover for the water pump I have an arrow. It's a little bit hard to see. But it looks to me like the arrow is showing the water pump impeller going counterclockwise. But when I look at the vane, it looks like it's going clockwise. Now it's turned around backwards. But I don't know. Okay, so here's the uh, crankshaft pulley. It shows that that goes clockwise, looking aft. So I have to give this a little thought as to what direction the impeller should be going, but it is going in a clockwise direction which would be counterclockwise when it's flipped around backwards the way it is installed. Okay, well I got the impeller out and I'm pretty sure that that is the seal. Problem is, I'm not sure how to get it out. It looks like there's a keyway or a key but um, I think it's going to have to come out the other side so we'll see All right, well, here's the key. I don't know if you can tell, but it has a little bit of wear. This is the side that's exposed, and then this is the bottom that goes into the groove. So that is the top. that the impeller seats against. So there's a little bit of wear there, but I guess it looks okay. And here's the shaft again without the key. Alright, well, what I did is I took this uh, flat tool. I want to make sure that uh, if I do anything to the shaft that it protrudes out the same as it is now when I'm done. And so I put this uh, flat tool against there against the uh, outside of the housing uh, on the gasket and then I inserted, I only have two hands, so I inserted a um, hex wrench in between the flat blade and the end of the shaft. And uh, I found that it's just a little bit raised over this larger of the two, which I'm not sure what dimension this is. Well, wait a minute here. Maybe I can. Nope. <laughs> well, anyway, I took two out. And the smaller one is too small. The larger one is just a hair too large. Okay? 
Well, here's the pump. I figured it'd be a little easier to work on if it were removed. Which wasn't a big deal. Removing it. Here's the weep hole. Looks a little corroded inside there. I don't know. I think I can see the seal. Anyway, so what I need to do is I need to take the pulley off and see what's behind that. It turns easily, so I think the bearings, and there's no play, so I think the bearings are fine. But I think I'm going to need to take the shaft out going to the right. Um in order to get to the seal. So we'll see. Well to get the pulley nut off I had to put my vice grips on the uh, edge of the pulley which I kinda hated to do but I put cardboard in there to protect the surface of the pulley. Anyway took a little while but I got it off. See what we have here. Hmm. Okay, well, sort of what I expected. So we've got the the nut and the washer and then we have another washer sort of a spacer okay here we go I'm hoping that well let me go back this thing was on with the rounded side down this spacer washer Okay. And I'm hoping that once I remove that snap ring, that the um, I can take the shaft out. We'll see. All right. Well, it took a little bit of time, but I did get the snap ring out using my snap ring pliers. I had to kind of wedge a little screwdriver underneath the edge to get it to finally come out. Anyway, it's out now. And uh, I'm going to measure this again. So there you can kind of see how much how much distance I have above my uh, measuring tool. It's about a sixteenth of an inch, but we'll go with that. All right, well, I've tapped on the um, on the impeller end of the shaft probably eight or ten times with a little bit of uh, cardboard cushioning to protect the end of the shaft so I don't ding it up and it's coming out the bearings are coming out they look a little rusty but uh, they seem to be working okay I probably ought to replace them Anyway, we'll see. All right, well, these are the bearings. This is the impeller end. There's the keyway. And there's a little rubber, like spacer, right here. The whole thing looks kind of gunky. 
and these bearings don't look that great but they seem to be working okay so let's see if I can get a flashlight in here and uh, here is the problem or the cause of the problem that seal looks pretty bad it's distorted it's all gunky what a mess it has sections that are broken off it's hard to see here there we go yeah there's the problem okay okay so there's the I believe the side that is supposed to have the spring here's the other side now to get it out I'm going to take a deep socket put it in here and just drive it out it should come out fairly easily hoping anyway well it's coming out but it's looking pretty bad I'm having a little trouble getting it out okay well the seal completely is completely disintegrated but I can see that the spring is on the impeller side okay so when I go to put the new one back in that's the way I'll put it in well I'm having second thoughts about which side the spring was on When I think about it, I think it was on the uh, bearing end. I'll have to do a little bit of reading. It's pretty easy to see just how bad this thing was, or is. Trying to get the light to shine on it a little better. Yeah, the entire seal had just disintegrated. Now I'm trying to get the outer part of it out. Well, what I found part of the problem, the reason it was so hard to get out, was this little metal ring was on the outer edge of the seal. So, once I got that out, getting the seal out was a little easier. I think you can see that. Alright, so there is the old seal. And here is the new seal, which I'll unpackage here in just a minute. All right, well, here's a rubber, kind of a washer seal that goes on right here. It's a little bit of a lip there, and it fits up against there, and you can see where it's been rubbing on the shaft, and then there's a dirty spot right there, and then this is where the seal goes and then out here is where the impeller is mounted okay it looks to me 
like this has kind of a bevel on the bearing side okay so when I put it back on it'll go that way now the next thing is this metal this metal I don't know kind of a washer that uh, looks pretty yucky on the back side it looks like it um, has grease so I'm not sure if I should wipe that out and replace it with something else would be nice to clean it up hmm not sure have to give that some thought all right well the new seal is in place went in without too much trouble I used a uh, socket to press it in didn't have to pound it or anything so um, that looks pretty good I've got the spring on the raw water side which you can't see I've got the uh, cover on now but anyway it's in there so I guess the next thing is to uh, put the shaft and the bearings in which is over here so I figured out that the purpose of this rubber um, washer here is that if the um, seal leaks uh, it'll keep the water from going inside the bearings pretty nice design so there's a little space between the seal and this rubber washer and the water will just drip down there So I was able to get the bearings in in the shaft without any trouble at all. I just pushed them in by hand. So I hope that um, the bearings are okay. I don't think they moved on the shaft. I'll have to take some measurements. <laughs> 